Hi guys, I'm Drew here with Bean Trailer. Today we're going to do a little comparison between our trailers and Sprinter van conversions. Uh, on this side, we have a Mercedes 170 extended Sprinter van conversion. Over here, we have our top of the line Black Bean Trailer that can be towed with any vehicle capable of towing at least 3,500 pounds. If you're watching this video, you're probably really interested in Sprinter van conversions and we can't blame you, they are beautiful. Uh, but the point of today is to look into what options might be better for you, what's more capable, what's more effective, and what's more affordable to fit your needs. Now, if you have $100,000 to $200,000, you're all right with the drawbacks of the Sprinter van, and that's the life that you want to live. Stop watching the video now. Go ahead and buy yourself a Mercedes van, take it to a conversion company, and have them start your build out. If you're actually interested in the differences, we're going to start in on storage in here. So looking at the van, we have the upper cubbies for storage. We have a little bit under the sink here, uh, a little bit under this side here, but the rest of this area in the back is all taken up by water storage, by batteries, by electronics, um, heaters, all that fun stuff. So most of this back here is not storage. It's just going to be these upper cab cabinets and the drawers here. Uh, when we look into the bean, we have the storage drawers in the back. We have a little bit of room under the sink. We have the pass-through cubbies, uh, as well as the upper cubbies in the front and rear interior of the, of the trailer, and the nice big front box. So apples, apples, those are going to compare pretty evenly across the board until you add in your tow vehicle with the bean. So with the tow vehicle with the bean, you have all of that extra storage, and overall, the bean is going to trump the van as far as storage goes. Looking inside the bean, we have a lot of good storage options. So we have the nice big upper cubby in the front. We have your upper attic storage in the back. Your four cabinet doors back here are all pass through. So you can get to these from either side, whether you're cooking in the galley or you're sneaking a midnight snack in the middle of the night. We have the drawers underneath. We also have floor storage under the mattress, and if you really want to get serious, you can fold up the mattress all together, use the D-ring tie downs on the floor to strap gear down inside of here and turn it into a cargo trailer if you need to. Next, let's compare the cooking setup between the two options. So on the van, we do have this nice little fold down table here. Uh, it has a plug underneath so we can run the inductive cooktop outside of the van, which does give you semi outside cooking abilities. Um, the van is going to have an advantage when it comes to cooking in inclement weather. So if you need to, you can get inside. You have the nice countertop here. You can move your inductive cooktop inside. You have the sink and everything in here that you can use uh, if the weather does get bad and you have to cook inside. Um, downside with that is if you're cooking sauces or frying bacon, basically making anything with flavor, the inside of your van is going to smell like whatever you're eating for the next three weeks. So that's the downside. Um, when you move over to the bean, that I think is where our galley really shines in outdoor cooking. Moving over to the black bean, we think this is one of the big advantages the trailer has over the van option. So we have the rear facing galley. Beautiful thing about this, no matter what you cook, you're all outdoors. You're not leaching those smells and odors into the interior of the trailer. So here you have your functioning sink. You have all of your storage up above. Again, this is that pass through that goes to the interior. You do have the storage drawers in the center. Uh, the bean comes with a 55, Dometic 55 quart fridge freezer, uh, depending on how you want to have that set up and what your needs are. And then moving around the side, the cooking part is what really excels. So we have a 22 inch cook partner two burner stove here. Obviously going to be a little bit more cooking area than just that inductive cook plate. If this is not enough room for you to cook, you have multiple options. You can extend our optional discata out the side, which gives you an essentially a three burner cook system here with the nice large discata cooking disc. You also even have the option to use the inductive cooktop. We have the optional fold down table over here, has a plug that runs from the inverter and the batteries in the front box, and you can actually run the inductive cooktop over here. So you can cook for an entire army on the black bean galley.
Looking at the electrical side of things, we're pretty even between the van and the trailer. So the van has four battery, four lithium batteries out to about 400 amp hours of power. Uh, the Black Bean is gonna come with two lithium batteries standard, option to upgrade to four, so both are sitting right around that 400 amp hours. Both have solar, so you can extend that runtime when you are out and not plugged into shore power. Uh, and both have inverters, so you can run DC and AC powder in whichever option you choose. Now looking at the sleeping arrangements and just the, the ease of hanging out in the two vehicles, uh, some definite advantages and disadvantages in here. So you got this nice spacious bed back here, uh, definitely a lack of headroom, cabinets kind of intrude into your sleeping space. Uh, moving down, we do have a major advantage when it comes to just hanging out and relaxing. So we have this futon, can be converted into a bed. Uh, it's not as long, so it would be you know maybe more for kids. But as far as hanging out, you have the seating here, you have seating up front, you got the bed in the back. So advantage to just hanging out inside, gonna go towards the van for sure. Uh, but you may be surprised at how spacious and comfortable it is inside the bean when we take a look at that next. So looking at the sleeping area inside the bean, one of the things we really love is the headroom. So even up here under the front cubby, plenty of room to sit up. In the center of the trailer, you can kneel comfortably. Plenty of room to move around as you need to. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. And when it comes to actually sleeping, you don't have to set up the bed. It's already ready to go. And you have a nice, spacious, queen-size mattress to lay in on. Uh, as far as hanging out inside the trailer, you do have the option to convert the bed into a couch uh, and convert the, the floor storage into a tabletop. So if you do need to get in and out of the elements and just hang out inside for a little while, you can still convert the bean to a comfortable seating area. Next thing we're gonna look at is the bathroom and shower situation between the two. So here, the van being bigger might have a bit of an advantage. Uh, we have the bathroom right here in the center of the van. So uh, you have the toilet here. Could be an advantage if you can kick the family or spouse or whoever else out, uh, you know, do your business in private inside the enclosed van. Um, downside is, it is gonna stay inside the van, so whether that's an advantage or a disadvantage, I'll let you decide on that. Uh, as far as the shower goes, this does have a built-in shower with a water heater and everything in the rear. Um, you could add a shower enclosure, currently it does not have anything like that, uh, so you would be showering outside uh, with that, unless you didn't did get the shower enclosure, which you can also install on the bean, so as far as the shower goes, I think that one's gonna be a wash. Next thing we're going to talk about is off-roading. The van is great for nice paved roads, camping in the city, stuff like that. But when you want to get off the beaten path and away from everybody else, uh, that's where we're comparing the two here. So we've added these awesome black rhino wheels, nice Falcon Wild Peak tires, and some really badass uh, adjustable Falcon suspension. And I can tell you with all that stuff added, it still rides like a cargo van. It's not great to drive around. You still hear everything rattling around in the back uh, and that's without gear even loaded inside. On the black bean side, you're gonna have timber and suspension stock. So you have the independent suspension. Uh, if you want to upgrade, we have the option there for air suspension. So if you're comparing top of the line here to top of the line there, you are gonna probably be running that airbag suspension. It, tr it, is super plush off-road, doesn't transfer a lot of that vibration through to the vehicle. Uh, so at that point, it almost comes down to what you've done to your vehicle suspension for that. So when we pair this with our Raptor that we use to tow this through the desert, super plush the entire time. So not nearly as rattly and rough as the van is gonna ride off-road. All right, so if you're planning on sticking to nice, smooth dirt roads, maybe some gravel roads, stuff like that, the van's still gonna be an all right option. It's gonna be a little rougher off-road, like we mentioned before. Uh, but when it comes to actually getting off-grid and away from people and you get on those slightly gnarlier trails, the bean we've pulled through Moab level stuff, uh, the van is like driving a school bus through a switchback. So it has the massive wheelbase here, hard to make tight corners. It's really tall, so it's nice and top heavy. Does not feel stable off-road at all. Um, so if you're staying on those dirt roads, great, van's a good option. If you are trying to get off-grid a little bit further, you're gonna wanna go with the trailer. So the van we've been looking at in this video is over $180,000. And while that is a nice Mercedes Sprinter van with a really good build out inside, $180,000 is a lot of money for most people. On the other side of the spectrum, a well-specced out black bean is gonna be in the mid 50s. Our lower end models can start at 24. 
So obviously huge leg up already for the bean. You can buy a well-spec black bean, a brand new tow vehicle, and still come in $80,000 less than what you're gonna pay for that van. Talking convenience, we have pros and cons to both options here. So with the van, uh, it is gonna be easier to street park, maybe do a little bit of covert camping in the city if you need to. Uh, it doesn't fit in a parking spot, so you do still need a big pull through parking spot to try to park this uh, in a parking lot. And it is huge. So there are places that you're gonna have to do a multi-point turn. Um, with that though, that, that street parking, uh, that's gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, reversing, everybody's reverse a vehicle. At least you don't have to back up the trailer. On the trailer side of it, you are gonna have to learn how to back up a trailer. So it is a learning curve with that. It's really not bad once you get the hang of it, but it is something new to most people. But the convenience side of the trailer is you don't always have to take it with you. If you have the van and you're using that as your daily driver and you have to drive this back and forth to work every day, you have to try to park it at the grocery store, that's a pain. With the trailer, you leave it in your garage, in your driveway, in a storage lot, wherever you might be storing it while you're not using it. And then you take your truck or your Outback or whatever you might have, you drive that to work, you drive that to the grocery store. You don't have to tow it with you everywhere you go. On the same side of that, you can leave this at a campsite. So if you find an awesome campsite out away from everybody else, drop the trailer, take the truck into town, grab food, go off road, go mountain biking, whatever you need to do. If you find a good camping spot with the van, you're gonna be packing up that van and heading out with all of your gear to try to find what you're trying to do with that. So let's talk storage. A bean trailer will fit in most garages, so if you have an extra stall, you can do that and avoid extra payments for storage and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people store them on the side of their house. Uh, the van, on the other hand, is huge. Unless you have an RV bay at your house, you're not going to fit this inside the garage. So if you do have an HOA or something like that, street parking, uh, driveway parking may not even be an option, but for almost everyone, garage parking is certainly not an option. All right, so let's break it all down. For the van, you have a much larger indoor living area. Uh, it looks beautiful. You get to tag all of your Instagram posts, hashtag van life. But it is huge. It's a giant investment. Like I said, $180,000 for this one is not pocket change. Um, if you're going to be living in it full time, the van's probably gonna be the better option. You aren't gonna have you know, your mortgage or your rent payment at that time, so that, that entry price isn't as big of a price tag because you don't have to add that on top. Um, but for most people, it is big, it is awkward to drive around. It's just not fun off-road. You can't get to those cool off-grid places that most of our customers love to go. On the bean side, you probably already have a tow vehicle, so you don't have that dollar amount there. Uh, you can go 24 to 60-ish thousand dollars on this, depending on how you deck it out. Uh, you have the nicer outdoor cooking area. You have a more comfortable living space inside. You get to drop it at camp, drive away. You get to use your vehicle as a DD. You don't have to live in it like you do on the van. Um, also, hashtag bean there, way cooler hashtag. Um, so that's for my money. I'm going bean. I think it wins hands down for anything I would want to do because I don't want to live in a van. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you follow us if you want to see more bean content. And we look forward to talking to you. Oh, that was wrong. Uh, sorry, I forgot how I was going to start this one. What was it starting at? Why am I so off? I hated the wording on that too. We're going to look at storage first. Next, 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 let's take a look at the cooking setups for each. Uh, we do have the sink underneath here. <laughs> Nets, I can't even talk. Nets. My mouth is getting cold, I feel like. I'm slurring my words. Get him some bird dog, quick. <laughs> bird dog, step. Oh shit, what was the other word I was gonna say? Uh, practicality. So you aren't, I... All right, so let's break it all down. Looking at the van, I had this in my head, I was just going over it. On the, with the van. <laughs>